Well, good morning, good evening, or good afternoon, whatever your current life situation is. Hello, YouTube. It's Jeffrey Kite, back with another episode of Kite's Curiosities. Before we get started in today's episode, I want to give a shout out to, not really a sponsor, but I'm hoping they'll jump on board with me one day if they see their product enough in my videos. It's RC Cola. RC Cola is the best drink you could ever possibly get. It tastes better than Coca-Cola. It's better than Pepsi. I'm telling you, get you some RC Cola and a moon pie. You'll have yourself a good time. RC Cola, just because it's good. Now, went to the mailbox Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and today, Friday, August the 6th, and came up empty. 0 for 5. So, swung by the Walgreens, see if I could find a little hanger box, and here it was. So, thought I'd open up one of these uh, Baseball Collector's Edge. It's a Fairfield product. And like normal, look for randomly inserted cards, packs, parallels, autographs. One and eight contain a hit, but those are few and far between. Basically, these are little cards that I use to complete sets with that I'm trying to build. And finish off and occasionally you find a little bit little little TTM fuel in here all right so let's get started Ooh, it's like a shine pack I can what that is there huh. let's take a look and see Hmm. 93 Fleer Ultra Collect Dennis Eckersley and Award Winners Limited Edition Subsets. Details on, oh, details on the back. I think you gotta order them, but. Hmm. Interesting. Fleer Ultras was a high impact, high end product back in the day. Uh, okay, yeah, it was a bail-in, so those inserts are not going to be in here. I don't know. I don't know. I can't remember much about 93 Fleer Ultra, but that'll be a fun rip to open here. I'm, I'm feeling good about it. I'm feeling good about that. All right, let's see what we can find. All right. Nelson, let's see. We're going to open up with Mr. Dwight Evans. Open up the top here and see if there's anything in the top. Excuse me there, but yeah, nothing in the top. All right, let's check it out. We got, say, Dwight Evans, Tim Laudner. Oh, there we go. 87 checklist of the Fleer, White Sox and Braves. Favorite team there. We got Mike Stanley, Randy Wolf, see Jeff Pico, Larry Anderson, Gerald Clark, says Pat Kelly, Marwin Gonzalez. Okay. Oh, this is Le Salvato Bonilla. And the Reading. What's this? Fight? Fight? Fightings? Let's see. Brandon Moss. That's a nice. Alan Ginter. Of, uh, uh, this is Miguel Montero. Okay. Ooh. Brett Anderson, rookie card. Tops Chrome. Not the biggest name, but I mean, that's pretty nice. Let's see, what's Johnson? Is it? Oh, Brian Johnson. Come and get you there. Ron Robinson. We got Melvin Mora. 
Okay. Mike Dyer, Kevin Wickander, uh, Frank Seminara, Terry Poole, Jan Gomes, uh, Terry Mulholland, Ooh, Ray Dandridge, Hall of Famer. I have his autograph on a on a uh, Perez steel. I think it's it's one of the it's called the Celebrations um, postcard. It's big. It's, it's about the size of those old um, um, turkey red cabinet cards. Uh, beautiful, beautiful signature. He was a good ball player. So put that aside. Let's see Jeff Montgomery, James. Austin, that's Arizona State. Yeah. 89 Donner's Checklist, Matt Stark, Gary Reedus. Oh, nice, Zach Grinky. Okay, that's pretty nice. Well, let's put him right here. I got Carlos Rondon, or Carlos Rodon, Rodon. Hey, there's a Braves player, Dansby Swanson. Let's see. We put him up top there. Let's get Zach in the frame here. Don't let him, Zach, feel left out. <laughs> Let's see, Alan Hansen. Evan Gaddis. He was my favorite ball player. Uh, when he played, met him when he was a Braves player, uh, signed several autographed items for me. He uh, responded to me, TTM, during spring training one year. Um, I always liked him. He was, he was a good guy. I know the whole Astros cheating scandal, I think he was, I don't think he was caught up in it, but kind of knew about it and might not have spoke about it. And, but, you know, whatever, I mean. Uh, we all do things that we ain't very proud of, but I thought he was a good, clean ball player. Good, good guy. Uh, Josh Willingham. Okay. Engel and Garcia, rookie combos. Okay, Adam Engel, Willie Garcia. All right, okay, let me put that right there. Let's see, Oliver Perez. Anthony Bass. <laughs> Mark Wolders is a Cleveland Indian. I didn't know he played with the Indians. I met him in person a couple times at some Atlanta Braves signings. Good guy. Good guy right there. Had three saves in the 95 World Series. Uh, couldn't have made it to that postseason run without him. They had a great year that year. Let's see, Dennis Martinez. Let's flip these. Jim Eppard, Danny Tartable, Mike Woodard, Steve Buchel, Tom Wallace, Mel Hall. Mel Hall, that's okay, nice. Not who I was thinking about. Let's see, Mike Flanagan, Vance Law, let's see, Jack McDowell, Paul Gibson, Alvin Davis, 88 Tops MVP. I think I need that for my for my set, my 88 top set I'm working on. I need him. I don't think I have him as an MVP. I'm setting him to the side. Sean Yegas, Keith Atherton. I've got him in that set. So is this Hal Morris? This is, let's just say, Roberto Mejia. Okay. Rick Honeycutt, Ron Washington. This oh David Weathers. Is that a, it might be a rookie right there. No, he played with the Jays a couple years before. Weathers. Uh, Luis Quinones. Casey Candale. Uh, Mike Devereaux. Met him in person at a Braves 
autograph signing. And he was MVP of the 1995 NLCS for us, but he's in his Orioles uniform. So I'm sure uh, my buddy Autographs 2000 would would, uh, would enjoy seeing this card. Uh, Bob Nepper. That's another Alvin Davis MVP. Doug Drabeck, Jim Deshays, Darren Lewis. That's, looks like he has been <laughs> handcuffed in that one. Goodness gracious. I wonder what players think about when card companies put them in some kind of questionable stances there. I mean, it looks like he has just struck out or... Whiffed, foul tipped, or something there. I wonder what he, what he thinks about that picture there. That's a good one. Look at that. Darren Jackson. Locked and loaded. Eyes on that ball. Following through. Shoulders. Nice. Nice legs. Stance. Extension. That's a good one. Right? That's a good picture right there. Kent Herbeck. Uh, another brave. Raphael Belliard. Put him with Dansby up there. What is this? Let's see. What is this? Mariners Tops Prospect Greg Wooten. Luis Polonia. Let's see. Jim Tatum. Joe Cowley. Dave. I don't know. Jacos, maybe. Dave Jacos. What is this? Twin Cities. Oh, Kenosha. Kenosha Twins. That's <laughs> a rookie. David Waynehouse. Ruben Sierra. Todd Worrell. Frank Tanana. And what's this? I hate these cards. And the document, I bought some some of these and it's just like ugh describe the game on the back and it doesn't you know the people listed on the back aren't necessarily the people on the front so I don't know what that is yeah, I'll toss that one alright let's get into this 93 Fleer Ultra let's see I bet these bad boys are bricked up. I mean, they feel like it. Let's see here. Yeah, look at that. Oh, they came apart on that. Oh, look. Yes, then we're going to have to crack these suckers. So. Yeah. Nice and crunchy. There we go. Let's see. All right, Tony Phillips, Dwayne Ward, oh, Omar Vizcal, oh, nice. Mel Rojas, Kevin Tappany, Andy Stinkwitz, Kenny Rogers, the Gambler, Kurt Manwaring, Anthony Young. That's Chris Sabo, Paul Sorrento, rookie card, Tim Wakefield. That's, 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 that's okay. One of the great knuckleballers of all time. Rookie card of, ooh, ho, oh, oh. <laughs> well now, <whistles> look at that. Rookie card of Pedro Martinez. Man. Whew. We're going to need to sleeve that up, folks. You know, I don't have no sleeves. Usually ain't prepared for. Whew. Usually ain't prepared for stuff like this. I don't know what the book value is on this, but I mean, it looks in pretty decent shape. Pack fresh, too, man. Hmm. 
I don't normally do uh, PSA submissions, but this one, this may have to go. Man. Pedro Martinez, rookie card, 1993 Fleer Ultra. Nice. There you go. All right. We're going to carefully slide this one over to the side here. And, uh, oh, yeah, Dwight Smith. <laughs> Another guy I've met in person. Uh, great singer, too. Uh, he sang the national anthem at one of the games of the 95 World Series. Um, one, it, it, he's had, had his demons, had his problems like we all do, um, uh, like many others have. Um, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, Romans 3.23. Not going to judge him or hold that against him. But uh, when I met him in person, you know, and he, he signed the uh, 95 World Series ball project that I've been working on for many, many years as a Braves fan. He uh, graciously signed that baseball and uh, was just a gentleman when I met him in person. So, hey, not too bad, folks. I don't know. I ain't never seen a Pedro Martinez rookie card pulled out of a Fairfield box. Mm. I'm going to put an exciting title on this. <laughs> Hopefully get me some views. It ain't clickbait, folks. Hopefully y'all see that it wasn't clickbait. All right. Well, well that makes up for a, for a dry spell TTM week. A nice Hall of Fame rookie card. All right, folks. Like, comment, subscribe. Do whatever you want to do. Till next time, y'all take care now. Have a good one.